Welcome, and then I'm using the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see, the phone in front of me is locked, and to start off the process, go to your Wi-Fi connections, and you will want to disconnect from Wi-Fi. There we go, so I'm gonna tap right here, scroll down, and forget network, okay. And now we're gonna skip this and progress through the setup. And in here, you want to add some kind of way of unlocking. Now, before, um, there is a pattern and, well, the Google verification. So you have two ways of unlocking the device at the moment. But the key part is that at the moment there is a pattern. So I'm going to go with a pin just to have it different. And this is basically the method that we're going to use. Once you set a different or any kind of unlocking method, it will override the old one. So. I just put in some kind of pen, repeat it, and it's set now. So from here we go back to Wi-Fi again, and again we're gonna connect. So let me quickly put in a password. Connect. Oh, there we go. It's connecting or not. Give it a moment, it's having a little bit of a problem for some reason. Let me retry this. Because this isn't working, I'm just gonna create my own and try to connect to that one. There we go. It's so now I automatically connected. Not sure what happened there. Maybe there's no network now. Um, so once you progress further, just select as we did before everything. Skip this step right here. And again, we should be prompted with the verification screen. But the difference now is before there was a pattern, but now we can unlock it with the pin that we have set ourselves. So let's just confirm that pin that we have literally set a second ago and then tap on next and there we go. The device is now unlocked once it finishes loading, of course. And you can see that you can now sign into Google instead of the verifying it. And this step can be completely skipped. Like I said, the device is now unlocked. So I'm gonna quickly finish the entire setup of the device just so we can get access to the home screen. And you can see that the method actually worked. And you can see now we're on the home screen with the device unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.